Kravirig is a unique place in Europe where tourists can plunge into the atmosphere of industrial production. Some time ago, nobody knew Kravirig as a tourist center, but then some enthusiasts came and developed industrial tourism, showing open cast mines, heavy machinery, and industrial landscapes as tourist attractions. And therefore, we have a unique opportunity to get acquainted with the history of this great industrial land and feel the unforgettable spirit of Krivirig. You may ask what else could be interesting in this town. <laughs> Let's go and check it out. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, mom. Hello, dad. Hello, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we are in the city that the nowadays president of Ukraine comes from. Yeah, he was born here. Yeah, it's actually, cool. it's cool that we are here. Mm. And the name of the city is... Uh, Rivirig. That big city is... Uh, the longest city in Europe. It's uh, 160... 20, 26. 26, sorry, kilometers. So it's, it's long. long. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's weird how long it is. <laughs> it's uh, quite well known for... It's, a, it's an industrial city, for mm. sure. And metallurgical city. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing that we have to mention that is is that um, uh, everything that you can see, you can find here, like mountains, mountains. rivers, canyons. Canyons, yeah, yes, canyons. They are artificial, so that means people they made that because by, they wanted to. Yeah, by hand. So it's... I want it, I got it. It's like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Very good description. <laughs> so we want to check that out. Yeah. Also, how, so how it looks like. Join us. <laughs> and hope it's going to work nice for both of us. Yeah. Despite the huge number of production complexes, this city is famous for its nature sites. This place should not be missed by lovers of walking. to be said that the city has already good energy for us. It's the first morning that we wake up and we have oh, so funny vibes. I yes, don't know. of course, it's nice. We have it has energy. to be mentioned, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're standing in front of the biggest clock in Europe, in Europe flower yes. clock. Yeah, and under that nice clock, you can find the 3D gallery of the city. Great, of uh, the city and the mo mo monuments of it, mm, right? Yes. Something like that. <laughs> the flower clock in Krevirig is the largest in Europe and listed in the Book of Records of Ukraine. The figure was created with the help of 22,000 flowers of six different species. Well, guys, we are in that uh, 3D museum of the city, and we're about to see the half an hour movie. Mm, about the city, how it uh, was founded, and uh, mm -hmm. etc. It might seem quite cool, because it's the first time that we, we are in a city, actually, and from the beginning of the day, we're going to see a movie about the history and not from the beginning wondering where to go. I mean, no, it's we easy, a, yeah. We get a proper introduction to this city, so it's... So it's it might be quite more appreciated. Yeah. yeah. guys, the sun is shining, but even though it's so hot, we are in the Grand Canyon of Ukraine. It looks like that, right? Mm. Its name is... Yuhok. 
You walk or you hawk? You hawk, like you okay. hawk. <laughs> and it's an artificial canyon uh, because there used to be a lot of iron and they don't want to exploit it, etc. etc. Et iron ore that I found here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, follow us. Go. The descent to the bottom of the quarry is eight kilometers, which takes 15 to 20 minutes by car. More than 150 people are working per day in the quarry. Well, we are in front of that amazing view. It's a really like a uh, moon, uh, you are in the moon, we're landing in the moon. Yeah, it's like of. this kind of landscape. Yeah. And it's interesting because we saw how the, in, we were in the factory where we saw the production of steel. Now we're actually where they are getting steel. their iron yeah, yeah. ore. So we see the beginning of that production. So could you please give us more information, a piece of uh, more information about what's behind us? Мы находимся с вами на карьере Южного горнобогатительного комбината. We are uh, located at the open pit quarry of the Southern Mining and Processing, processing Integrated Enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, размеры карьера 3 км на 2,6 км. Uh, the, the size of the quarry is uh, uh, 9 uh, square kilometers. And the depth? The depth? Uh, and the depth is... Uh, uh, four... Uh, 420 Процесс производства такой, что сначала бурятся скважины для закладки взрывчатки. The, the industrial process includes the installation of explosive materials under the tofus. Происходит взрыв. The, uh, the explosion is executed. При этом используют наша украинская взрывчатка Украинит. Using our local explosion materials called Украинит. Взрывы проходят в 12 часов дня, два раза в месяц по средам. The explosions are executed every Wednesday at 12 o'clock twice. Ah, you have a specific day for protection, so people know. Можно сверять даже часы вот по взрывам на карьерах. And uh, the time of this explosion is perfectly matched, and even uh, uh, the settings of all the clocks uh, are integrated to the times uh, to the time of explosion. Oh, and на каждом карьере свое время так сделано. Every uh, quarry of uh, our city has its own uh, explosion uh, time because uh, mm. in order to avoid uh, the uh, effects of uh, resonance. Boom, 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 everywhere. Mm. No, so you say one time a week, we do That's that good. stuff and be prepared. Yeah. And actually, uh, it's still working there. I mean, how yeah, old, uh, how long, how old is that? Since 1985. Oh, it's and you have two ways to extract iron ore? Uh, my, uh, yeah, mining one and uh, the open pit quarry one. The mining one is used to extract, extract rich iron ore, which consists 70% of iron. Mm -hmm. And the open pit quarry method is used to extract 30% uh, iron ore. To melt, to melt it down or tumble, tumble it to dust and uh, use magnetics to uh, extract the iron. To pull it out. Thanks a lot for visiting our uh, enterprises in our city. It's our own pleasure. Thank you for yeah. having us. Thank you for interest to our city. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, we are in a really different kind of museums. 
It's a machine museum, right? It's the machinery they are yeah. using in the mining process. So it would be really nice to explore how do they actually extract um, mines from the, the earth and yeah, exactly. uh, and also the the, the vehicles the, the vehicles that are yeah. transporting the the iron ore. This museum is in the European list of industrial heritage. Yes. So it's a nice opportunity to come and join how it looks like actually. Yeah, to see. Follow us. Ladies first. <laughs> Can't go inside. Why? <laughs> this actually truck uh, was uh, created, uh, constructed maybe in 1988, and it's, it seems really heavy. And because it is. It is six tons. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't do it. <laughs> Oh. Behind us, you can see that yellow truck uh, machine. Yeah, like yeah. A dumb, this is also some kind of car. Yeah, it, it's actually a piece of cargo that was built, that was uh, manufactured in 1908. <laughs> and it looks like it's from the Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Guys, as you can see behind us, it's not a building, it's just a huge vehicle. Can and you this see? This is actually a mini vehicle yeah. in their measurements. Can you see how high is the wheel? It's like upper than me, and I'm close to two meters, you know? <laughs> no, guys, I'm not so tall. But this is quite taller than me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah the same. And even this, with your hair. Yeah, even with my hair. But the, the, the bigger car, the big ones they have, the, the wheels are three meters high. Ah, so compared to that, uh, compared close to, to one this, meter this, higher. This one is like one... Uh, Too close. 80, 90 something. 90 something. Yeah. I remember when you take that step that it's a bit... It's not my type. If we were... Can you go up on the other side? <laughs> here uh, and we're going to climb that uh, artificial hill to the to the right hand yeah and we have to say that the hill is made out of like the material that is useless that they can't use yeah that they get from mining but they are not they put it away and they yeah. just make a mountain Well, we are uh, on the top of that hill, of that artificial hill, right? The view is amazing, we have to say that. And the city looks full in green and trees, etc. But uh, the first thing that both of us saw and wanted to mention is that in front of us, maybe, there is a huge factory. There's a one huge factory that it's so clear that it's polluting the environment here. 
And as we talk with local people, they told us that it is a problem for them. Because the equipment they are using is old, so yeah. the process is polluting. It's a, a beautiful view and it will be so sad if this won't last. It will be maybe good if they were trying to develop uh, the, the whole procedure of yeah, yeah. yeah. sure, so sure. It, will, it will help the area here it's a really nice artificial waterfall right yes you're right yes the uh, locals told us that uh, the, the amount the, the high of the water used to be higher yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so it's not so, uh, so it's, the yeah. current is not so strong yeah but so. even though it's really nice it's full of green uh, I mean trees flowers birds everything so it's nice to be here or for picnic or for just uh, to relax. Yeah, as the waterfalls are, it's still, uh, still something nice. Even it's artificial, uh, but I'm not sure we're. Well, I'm not sure how clean it is to have a dive here. So maybe, maybe where the water is uh, a Low, bit more yeah. flowing than yeah. up here. Yeah. Actually, that city you can find not only artificial things, but nature things, and nature things that they have been protected, right? Yeah, we are actually in a very protected area because it's pure nature, mm. and it has a unique ecosystem. Ecosystem, and at the same time, the rocks here are quite unique, and they have been protected even during Soviet Union. Mm. What we mean is that the rocks behind and in front of us they consist are they they are consisted of uh, seventy percent of iron, and even in that period of uh, Soviet Union wasn't exported because it's really significant. Right? Yeah, yeah. So they, it's not allowed to extract iron from these rocks because it's protected here, and it's so rare species, like they are connected to each other. The ones that are on the rocks, even with the, the ones in the river. Holding, yeah. yeah, yeah. We were actually told that these plants. Are, um, uh, are the same plants that were here on the time of uh, when the d dinosaurs. Yeah, they're so old, like my grandma. <laughs> Actually, uh, this kind of plant, you could, it could be found uh, everywhere in Ukraine, but in specific zones, that they are protected yes, in order exactly. to survive. Uh, what else we need to say about that uh, scenery is that physical sceneries are completely different and better to artificial sceneries. Definitely. You, know? you, you feel something else it's here than uh, on, the, yeah. on the... Compared to the location that we've been all day, that all of them were artificial, we like, mm. oh, we like it, it's okay. Mm. But here, the it's vibes are different than our original. The energy, yeah, yeah. You, feel, you feel the real energy here, and it's, it's really nice. And I love these ones, they're yeah. so... They're like burnt hairs. <laughs> <laughs> Iron hair. <laughs> There is a lot of fun, so you can really enjoy spending time with friends here. Well guys, we are here. Actually, we are in front of the metro of the city. It's not a metro. 
It's like a, a subway uh, tram. It's a tram that goes no, under underground, the ground. So that's why it's a subway tram. Yeah, but uh, it's really fast. And uh, it's really necessary for the city because, as we said before, the city is the longest city throughout Ukraine, so it needs actually a tram. It needs a very fast tram. Yes. <laughs> it's ticket is like this. You can see... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, you see, yeah? Here we are, yeah. Can you, you can see them. Yeah. It's plastic and it's funny. The color is so... Modern, it's a really pop and a really uh, how can yeah, say? it's a bit unexpected. unexpected yeah, ticket, tricky to find to be it. Honest. Yeah, but it's fun. Um, so, do you want to try on with us a ride? You should do that. Yeah, let's go. Krevi Rig Metro Tram is located in the heart of the city. It consists of three lines and 15 stations. The total track length is 18 kilometers, including a 6.8 kilometer underground section. This is the only place in Ukraine where it's permitted to drive on the left-hand side. some really nice picture and a video because you can see it's like a lake here for sure it's artificial <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well guys, another quite tiring day came to an end. <laughs> How did you feel about today? I felt uh, it was interesting. Yeah. It was many different things we did. We started with the flower clock. The flower clock. It was nice there because mm. uh, on the, under the roof of the clock, we we were in a 3D uh, museum. And saw this introduction the about the city. The city that, was, yeah. that was quite good. So we got some more knowledge about yeah. it. And we went to many, many artificial things. We have to say that this city is the place that uh, nowadays uh, government, uh, head of the government, come from here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, the current uh, prime minister. Prime minister comes from here. And at the same Our time... President, maybe President, is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and at the same <laughs> time, the thing is that uh, we've, been, we've been wandering around many, many artificial things that people have made because of iron, right? Yeah, the, the foundings of iron and the iron ore that they could take out from uh, as a source and build up their industry around it. It's a huge city. It has to say it again for one more time, maybe that it's the largest city in Ukraine. But at the same time, it's quite quiet. I mean that we are downtown here. It's totally so friendly with for families, children playing around and it yeah, it seems feel so quite, crowded. quite a peaceful place, yeah, right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Being like an industrial and everything. It's just, yeah. So guys, yeah. thank you for watching us for one more episode. Keep on, have a lovely, lovely <laughs> evening, <maybe>. lovely <laughs> evening, night, morning. I don't know Whenever when you're going to see us. Whenever you see us, yes. You're thank right. you.